Hello again. All right. Another rare occasion, I suppose, uh, doing two videos in one day. Uh, but I wanted to generally reach out to the community, to you fellow Space Marine players, and more specifically, you fellow Salamander players. Uh, well, I guess anyone who really stumbles upon this video. Uh, for, for your thoughts, if you play Warhammer on... Uh, list building really like what to, so we could we could talk basics and whatnot and uh, you know generating a theme first for your army uh, and then just like sticking to that in terms of like what your play style is and then but uh, I'm sure like you I want to win as well <laughs> from time to time that'd be nice um, uh, especially after <laughs> Uh, this past weekend's tournament where I just, my gosh, I got swept. Oh, it was so, yeah, it was so one-sided. It was, uh, yeah, it, 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 it like I made it fun because, you know, I didn't expect to win. You know, if, if uh, you're abreast of the meta, you're aware that salamanders in general aren't in uh, top tier positioning. Uh, we're just right now at the lower end of the spectrum. We just don't really do too much. We're supposed to f specialize in flamers and meltas, uh, but uh, there are people who do it better than us now. Uh, so yeah, like Tau flamers, for example, better than our flamers. Uh, now Chaos with their minimum like three hits because of the D6 plus two. Uh, so like that's nuts. So I'm, I, I guess I can stay optimistic and, uh, and see it as a sign of things to come for the love that Space Marines will get. Uh, but uh, yet again, Maybe not. We'll we'll see. We'll find out. We'll we'll see what the future has in store. Uh, but I digress. Getting back onto what uh, the main focus of this video is going to be is uh, is list building. What I wanted to get your thoughts on it because right, I've got a few jumbling around in my head because uh, in the in the previous video I'd mentioned that my weakness at the tournament was my lack of mobility. Uh, I never got top of turn, uh, so. By the time I was uh, allowed to even beginning, uh, yeah, pardon me, uh, before I was even uh, allowed to begin my turn, uh, the opponent generally already covered most of the board. Uh, so I was always on the back foot from the get go. Uh, so in, in Getting that out of the way, uh, I've made the decision to remove my Venerable Dreadnought, despite its usefulness. Like, it did help me in killing things, but um, I think two Dreadnoughts will be okay instead of three. I think three was maybe a little overkill. Um, maybe not. I'll find out next tournament, I guess. Uh, but the fact that these two... Contemptor dreadnoughts were pumping out mortal wounds for me. Uh, was was really nice, and uh, the minus one during the Devastator uh, Doctrine phase uh, was uh, point bunny. Um, it made it so that people were failing their saves more in the first turn, and uh, damage two whenever stacked up against individuals who don't have that damage reduction. It's quite lovely. Uh, so. You know, I'm, I've got them still in one version of the list and replaced uh, the Venerable Dreadnought with uh, an Outrider squad instead and then changed up uh, my troops. So instead of having a 10-man unit, it would just be five man and then I'd bring in uh, Intercessors, uh, sorry, Inceptors. The, these guys here jump with the uh, Bolters. Uh, yeah, ass assault bolters there. And then another version of the list is, uh, you know, getting rid of those dreadnoughts altogether. And I'll be bringing in these two, a Leviathan and a Redemptor. Grab Flux Bombard, two Heavy Flamers, Melt a Gun, and Siege Claw. Um, sorry, um, Siege Drill. I've, I don't think, 
You can see it from there, but we'll see. We'll see if I rub that. There you go, just like that, and then the mouse again. So obviously, custom, and I magnetized the right uh, base for him, so it'd be the 80 millimeter rather than the 90. Um, and then with eliminators in there, I think that uh, these guys are going to be good for holding my back objective and still with 30 inch range, be able to help me pick off some wounds and maybe even dish out a mortal wound if I'm lucky, um, maybe once every two turns. So um, otherwise I plan to keep the staple of Flamestorm Aggressors, I love them so much. I love Flamestorm Aggressors so much. Oh my gosh, yeah. Anyways, um, and then the third version of the list uh, would be ones where I'm just focusing on infantry, so no dreadnoughts whatsoever, so the Tech Marine's out too. Uh, but I'd have uh, Vanguard Vets, Outriders, and Inceptors, and uh, instead of the actual dreadnoughts. Um, yeah, cause again, I was told that, you know, mobility is key and I witnessed that mobility is key, but I'm not really, I don't know, like there's nothing, I don't know, eh, yeah, we'll find out cause there's, I don't know, to me there's nothing special about the Vanguard Vets anymore or the Outriders or the Inceptors, you know, the Outriders are cheaper now, now thanks to Nephilim. Like 135 points now. Well, they got 15 points cheaper from 150, so that's that should be that. That should be 135. Anyways, I'm not gonna do quick math. You guys can correct me in the comments. I'm yeah, I'm brain fog today. I guess I'm just not feeling in the mood for math. But uh, yeah, it should be 135. Yeah, it is 135. Anyways. So that's fun. Um, I just want to get your thoughts really and see what you guys had in mind. I was even th uh, coming up with another list of maybe even three five-man units of aggressors, maybe just flood the board with aggressors and just call it a day because they are putting in work for me every single time I roll up. I love it. Three units of five aggressors, maybe that's the wave, maybe that's it, and then just sprinkle in a little mobility um, yeah, I don't know, because you got to have the right tools for the right job, right? And I don't want to sort of limit my, my ability to adapt, um, especially since we, we all know aggressors are slow as all get out. So I got to pray that I'm not rolling a one on those, uh, ones or twos for that matter for those advanced rolls. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave the video there. Because uh, I want to get your thoughts, really, just generally three versions of my list, an all-infantry one with emphasis on mobility with the Vanguard Vets, Outriders, and Inceptors. Another one where it's uh, the Relic Contremptors that I've been basing my list off of so far, or changing those out so I can save two CP and only spend one to bring in the Leviathan and then have a Redemptor. In the other version of the list as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave the video there. Have a, yourselves a wonderful rest of the day and uh, I hope to hear you in the comments below because uh, I think that you guys will be able to get my mind going more and maybe think outside the box, you know? Uh, yeah. Mm, two heads are better than one and uh, three is better than two. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. Peace.